Brittany Mahomes. From an unwelcome champagne shower to accusations of racist tweets, people love to hate Brittany Mahomes. Look, she is loud. She has been obnoxious by pouring alcohol on people in Kansas City in the dead of winter. She's dating maybe the greatest quarterback the NFL has ever seen. Well, I actually like uh, Mrs. Uh, <laughs> I actually like Mrs. Mahomes much better. If you want to know the truth, she's a she's a big Trump fan. I was not a Taylor Swift fan. It was just a question of time. She couldn't. Uh, you couldn't possibly endorse Biden. You look at Biden. You couldn't possibly endorse him. But she's a very liberal person. She seems to always endorse a Democrat, uh, and she'll prob- probably pay a price for it at the uh, in the marketplace. But no, I I like Brittany. I think Brittany's great. Brittany was got a lot of news last week. She's a big. She's a big MAGA fan. That's mm-hmm. the one I like much better than Taylor Swift. And, well, this is not shocking. I'm not a fan. You know, I'm not a huge fan. I only like, I have a bad trait. I only like people that like me. So why do we talk about Brittany Mahomes? Because, well, firstly, if one misremembers, she liked Donald Trump's post on Instagram, which calls for the following. In summation, drill instead of addressing climate change. Continue the trans panic, putting a target on the marginalized. Attack the homeless. Violate the rights of millions of Americans like free speech laws. Target schools. Cancel electric vehicles. Follow Project 2025. And much more. Then she really started hammering home post after post on the platform. I mean, honestly, she wrote... To be a hater as an adult, you have to have some deep-rooted issues you refuse to heal from childhood. There's no reason your brain is fully developed and you hate to see others doing well, she wrote. It was not about seeing others doing well, which also shows that she has literally no grasp whatsoever of what it means to be a supporter of that guy. And also saying... I mean, honestly, to be a hater as an adult, you have to have some deep-rooted issues you refuse to heal from childhood. Are you projecting? Because that is the only way to read this. When you follow that man, you are a part of a hate cult. Okay? I really do believe it's a form of projection. She'd repost this message. Contrary to the tone of the world today, you can disagree with someone and still love them. You can have differing views. And still be kind. She'd add, read that again to her story. So she saw the backlash clearly and decided to address it this way by saying, you're a hater that I love and support Donald Trump. And this whole thing about, well, we can agree to disagree. Can we? (laughs) Can we? Can we agree to disagree that... They staged a coup, that they lost the election, that they really are the true snowflakes, that they are going after Haitians because simply they are protected and white supremacists want them out. Can we really seed ground on that? Can we seed ground on climate change? Can we seed ground on human rights? Can we seed, ra- seed ground on protecting uh, bodily autonomy? I mean, come on. Those are not agree to disagree components of life. Those are tribal. When it should not be, by the way, there is a way to agree to disagree. Not when it comes to human rights. Not when it comes to protecting the marginalized Brittany Mahomes. Via Glamour, although she unliked the post, she did not apologize or clarify which of the 20 points she agreed with and which she maybe did not support. That's also pretty fundamental in understanding who she is as a person. Because then we go to this. There were rumors that Taylor Swift would ditch Brittany Mahomes. Then they would hug at a game. But per reports, they continued to not sit with one another outside of a tennis tournament. Then this story broke via the Daily Mail. That Mahomes is considering withdrawing her support because of Trump's attacks on Taylor Swift. At one point, he wrote on Truth Social, in all caps, I hate Taylor Swift, which is just so juvenile in every way of the message. (laughs) He's literally a little boy in a grown man's body. That is what he is. A white supremacist little boy. 
from the mail. She is questioning her support for Donald Trump after he lashed out at Taylor, saying he hates her, a source told the news outlet. This deeply bothered Britney because Taylor is like a sister to her, and she has done absolutely nothing wrong. The source added, quote, This doesn't mean Mahomes is suddenly voting for Kamala. It has just made her more aware of supporting Trump so publicly. See, that is the most important point of all to the story, if it is to be believed. It's not that she's necessarily voting for the, uh, for the Dems, okay? It's that she sees the backlash and just doesn't want it anymore. So she's going to continue to feel the same way she feels. She's going to continue voting the same way she's probably voted before in 16 and 20. But the difference is she's seen the public outcry and doesn't want it anymore. So she's just going to keep it to football. That's what she's going to do. Nothing says... With the way that she is viewing this, a median centrist, probably conservative voter than this. I wouldn't even say centrist. I would say conservative. I actually thought former TYT host Emma Vigeland hit the nail on the head with this tweet. A true conservative, only caring about the world when they're personally affected, a la her relationship. That is 1,000% correct. So my question for Brittany and others who think like her, is this what it takes? It's not the G side going on. It's not the fact that kids are still in cages. It's not the fact that he completely bungled the pandemic. It's not the fact that he empowered new groups like Patriot Front to come about. It's not the fact that because of his rhetoric, Haitians are being targeted. Schools are being closed. Elementary school classes are being canceled because of bomb threats. It is... Not because of the way that he has multiple felonies. It's not the fact that he evades his taxes. It's not the fact that he has empowered our enemies in global politics. It's not the fact that he does not protect the media. It's not the fact that he didn't care when Jamal Khashoggi was killed. It's not the fact that he has completely ruined the middle class. It's not the fact that... You continue to follow him when he is handcuffed to Project 2025, when he wants to get rid of the Department of Education, get rid of the IRS, get rid of the FBI, get rid of, uh, whether you agree or disagree, some functioning bodies that, if they are gone, will fall under the rule of a Trump administration. It is not the fact that women are dying because of his policies when it comes to abortion and bodily autonomy. It's not the fact that he received the endorsement of... David Duke, it's not the fact that the Triple K loves him. It's not the fact that neo-Nazis applaud him. It is not the fact that we continue to see conservative flags at his rallies. It's that he said something mean about a billionaire friend. That was the line. It says, if it is to be believed, this report, it says so much about her. And none of it is good. If you can and are willing, please become a paid member here at TYT Sports. And or go to tyt.com slash join. In addition, you can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. Appreciate it. Have a great day.